I can't rename you, so. All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome in to the round table. It is time for the grand finals. We have a little bit of a late start to the broadcast, but it is finally time. As somebody who has uh, overseen this tournament uh, throughout most of its tenure from pretty much start to finish, I'm very, very happy to welcome you to our last match of the usual bracket. It's me, Dio, and I'm joined by Doomsday and Knots with a special PNG tuber appearance here <laughs> yeah. for the grand finals. Good, a monkey good. and his two caretakers. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh yeah, Doomsday, you go ahead first. Hell yeah. Yeah. So first of all, great to be here for the grand final of one of the biggest tournaments of the year. One of the biggest tournaments in a long time, really. And, what a matchup we have lined up. It's a rematch from earlier in the tournament, right? And one that I personally think MCY4 can count himself a little bit unlucky to be down in that 6-2 because that was far closer than what that scoreline suggests against the beast in Malashevsky, right? What do you guys think about this, this Grand Finals matchup? I'll say, given uh, how much harder the pool has gotten, uh, it's going to be a very tough matchup. Uh, against Malchowski for MCY. I mean, it was already a pretty tough match first time around. I imagine it'll be even tougher this time around. Even though the pool is a bit different, uh, there's arguably, you know, more contested maps in terms of skill set. But, yeah, it's going to be tough, I think. I don't yeah, think MCY4 can be down now. No, MCY4 has been on a tear, though, so I'm yeah. excited to see exactly what it brings in Grand Finals. I'm thinking, the thing I was thinking is, I, clearly, the big skill set for MCY4 is alt, and like, I don't know, creepy alt especially. Just any kind of like, funky patterning, off-kilter stuff. And uh, I think having two maps that kind of align with that in Hidden, alongside the Nomad alt, uh, bodes well for him with regards to skill set balance. There's still the question of, how competitive it will be when the pool gets this hard. I mean, we're talking about an eight-star pool. It's pretty ridiculous in terms of skill cap demanded. And uh, Malashevsky has that aplenty. And as much as MCY4 is on a tear, uh, it's going to be tough. He's going to have to bring his absolute best to make a game out of this. Yeah, there's no beating around the bush at this point. When you're hitting this extreme level of difficulty in tournament, every other player really would have hit their skill cap if not around before but Malachevsky doesn't seem to hit that in tournament it yeah. seems like whenever you watch him he doesn't really drop off his level of like high scoring FCing or at least very minimally this is really extreme though and I wonder if we'll even see chinks in Malachevsky's armor on a board yeah. like this we'll it's to hard see. to imagine But coming into the bands, Malashevsky's going to start out with a hidden three ban. It's one of those maps I was expecting MCY4 to do pretty well on. I think it's a an astute ban for uh, for Malashevsky here. Going to be able to clean out some of the stronger picks for MCY4. Getting rid of some of that ult is always a really good shot against MCY4 because of how good he's been on it. And the bans coming out from MCY4, they hidden two. And then a DT4 for MCY4. That's a little bit different. He bounds lots of speed, but not so much here. I think the DT4 is a matter of it just being that hard. How high the AR is, how dense it is. Um, 
th there's just so much going on. Like it's it's similar in certain regards to what we had last week, but I feel like it's just so much more extreme, especially with like the SVs and stuff like that. So I can I can definitely understand that hidden two is also an enormous step up. So just really ends up being a skill cap question. Final ban there. Double time three from Alashevsky. The raw speed. MCY4 had a decent run at it. Beat Zutinator on that pretty handily. Uh, yeah, Malashevsky's speed is not his favorite thing. Especially at this level. But immediately, MCY4 opening up with the big guns here. No, it's, it's no more three. Yeah, he has to do this. This is definitely the path. Just pick the strongest map up front. It's gotta be. I totally agree. It's the thing he's been so good on all tournament. It's been so hard to beat. Malachevsky's no mod 3 is very feared as well. It's gotta work out for MC 4 here, so. Here we go. It's the grand final. One of these two will be booking their place at the round table in LA. All expenses paid, everything all in. There's a lot on the line for the winner of this. Let's see which we two have the metal for it. Uh, getting into the first map of this match, an early miss actually for MCY4. They are coming from loser's bracket. Malashevsky yet to have dropped a match during this whole tournament. And MCY4 only having lost to Malashevsky. So a couple of early jitters kind of to be expected in a matchup like this. And hopefully MCY4 able to get rid of some of them, but finds another slider break here. These are very unforgiving patterns pretty much throughout the entire map as well. You've got really, really tricky snapping changes between these double stacks on the single taps right back into you know, some of the really awkward angled half flow aim, half snap aim patterns afterwards. Very, very tricky to keep consistent combo and accuracy on. And while it's a good recovery for MCY4, it's still an SS for Malashevsky a quarter of the way into this map. There's a lot harder patterns, but if MCY4 keeps dropping like he is right now, it's not really going to matter because those hard patterns are probably going to force breaks out of both of these players. Give away from Malashevsky here to open this up. MCY4 with a couple of little slips, not nothing too major. All them decent combos. He's more than that against his opponent. Already at the slightly easier part here for him to up again. I mean, this is, uh, what, two 100s now on Malashevsky? It, it might be three. It might be three with that accuracy. I think that's three 100s, but still just absurd. I mean, we saw the scores from both the Corsairs Open and from yesterday on this map, and I know they were not this good, right? Malashevsky already over a thousand combos, still holding the FC over halfway through, and MCY4 at this point has to god mode the entire second half, which is the harder part of the map, and hope for multiple breaks from Malashevsky at the same time. It's not a good place to be, is it, Neo? That's not a good place to be. Oh my goodness, he already won the first map here, and this is already just ludicrous here from Malashevsky. Still no other act drops other than the ones you just mentioned, man. Nothing at all. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? This is the first pick from MCY4. Finally, a break comes through for Malashevsky, but... At this point in the map, there's just no way we're going to see a comeback, and this is kind of a devastating start to the matchup for Mal uh, for MCY4, excuse me, as Malashevsky just tore it up on this map. Like, you break during one of these other in-between sections, not even on this breakdown part. We'll see whether either of these players is actually able to combo through it entirely, but yeah, I am really... Almost, almost sympathetic for MCY4 here because how do you recover mentally after your opponent does this to you on your first pick? Just doubles your score in demon modes the entire way through the map. Here against that with problems like that. Now, like, MCY4 got a really good score on this yesterday, right? We got nearly 500k, which is really good. Not too far off this 650k, but this is just ludicrous. That is a devastating start, you absolutely.
nailed it there. What a steal straight away from Malashevsky on a powerful Nomad 3. What a performance. One miss, 99.5. Hello? I think that might be more devastating than anything else is that even had MCY put up the score he did last time, he would have still lost. It's a... Uh, mm. What a play by Malashevsky. The one miss. One or two slider breaks. I mean... My take would essentially be, maybe he shouldn't have picked it first, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe he needed to shake off the nerves a little bit on some other maps oh, prior no. to going into the strong picks. MCY4 in chat, he picked the wrong skin. That probably didn't help, oh, but I think, no. let's be honest, that score was hard to beat for anyone. Yeah, I think. yeah. I, I think, I, I mean, yeah, to be fair, regardless, hard to imagine MCY4 beating that score. It's, yeah. it's just ridiculous to get that score on a pool this stupidly hard. Like, just an incredible performance. But Malashevsky set to pick, and uh, he has a lot of options. <laughs> the whole pool is open to him. Uh, I don't think... It's, it, it'd be kind of hard to narrow down where we're even going to go for him here, but, you know, I like tech for Malashevsky. You know, one of the best tech players in the world. I think he could just go Nomad 4 whenever he likes, but he will instead go DT2, it seems, it appears. I don't see it in the chat, but... It's going to be pretty stamina intense, but... Uh, you know, when you get to this level of difficulty, uh, they're not going to be satisfied with just having that. It's got some some uh, funkier aim and stuff in in it as well. It's not not too crazy, but gonna have to do it alongside the stamina. Yeah, tons of stamina uh, need, you know, needs in this, really. Not really necessarily for longer streams, but just bursts into bursts into bursts. It pretty much never stops. Uh, Mr. 4 did play this yesterday. Did okay. But now just picking him into this straight away. He must be confident. I think it's really telling that Malashevsky banned out the DT3, which was also played yesterday, and picked into this right afterwards. Um, a lot of the DT maps that Malashevsky tends to be very good on are these sorts of slightly lower BPM stamina-focused picks, but there is an early miss. MCY4 on much worse accuracy, though, 90% to 95% in comparison to Malashevsky. So even with this big combo lead, it's going to take a while before we see this score start to go over, the finger control and accuracy from Malashevsky on this is kind of ridiculous. You know, neither Zudinator nor MCY4 are exactly speed demons, but we saw 88 and 86% accuracy yesterday, Doomsday. This is not in the same level in terms of act whatsoever. 95% halfway through for Malashevsky, I think, is way more important than any big combos on this map, because you two have been talking about the pool difficulty a lot in this match already. When you get to a pool this hard, you don't expect full combos. You don't expect 1,200 plus combos on most of these maps. The accuracy starts to be far more important. And to be able to put up near 96% accuracy when your opponent can barely manage 90 at the same point in the map is absurdly dominant on this sort of pick. I think in terms of the combo game, maybe MCI4 was ahead, but you mentioned that that 6% of accuracy is making so much difference, did so much work here from Malachevsky. Pretty much all that was in it really here, but that shows a level of comfort on this control. 95.6 by the end of that is very solid for sure. But the combo, but you know, this ain't a combo game this time, Dio. The combo just didn't matter at all in that pick, and uh, yeah, uh, almost actually just straight up five and a half percent better accuracy from Malashevsky, which is ridiculous on that sort of map. I'll say that it, I mean, it could have, it could have mattered, but I don't know. As soon as we got into some of the more ridiculous finger control bits, some of the doubles and everything, MCY4 was not able to keep up. Unfortunately, gonna be a pretty quick uh, pick from MCY4 here, going on to the HR2. Some of the precision that uh, 
seemed to do him quite well in uh, in one of the previous matches, albeit uh, the no mod on the uh, that one uh, system of a down song that I don't remember the name of, but I have since the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. Did you see that? I think he did. I, I believe he did. Yes. Uh, I believe in the ver very same match, the HR position thing didn't work out as well for him. But maybe this map in particular favors him. He feels good on this one. We'll see. I think, you know, not the worst pick for MCY4. He's still facing Malashevsky. I mean, this was a good pick yesterday for MCY4 against Zuninator. So... I'm, I'm hoping to see kind of a repeat of the score that we saw yesterday from MCY4 on this sort of map, but is not off to a really good start here. This is not the MCY4 we saw yesterday on this pick. This was Zuninator's pick and MCY4 getting 422,000 score on this map with pretty solid accuracy as well. Definitely off to a rougher start on the intro this time around, but the, the intro is still very hard. Uh, lots of really, really tough slider patterns in this map. Lots of very high spacing jumps for a CS 6.5 pick. I mean, this is an 8-star CS 6.5 map, so it's not like any of this is really all that easy. And we're going to get into some of the drop sections now. MCY4 praying for a break from Malashevsky during the middle of the map here. What he can do is keep his head down, try and rebuild that combo. The big aim coming in here, and there's the miss from Malashevsky now. The window's open here for MCY4. Half the map to go, plenty of time here. We'll see if MCY4 is able to hold on. This section a little bit easier for most players. These streams a little bit simpler than some of the jump patterns on CS 6.5. We're already past MCY4's score from yesterday. This is just straight up a better score. Both of them hit the diamond stream, Dooms, as we get into the ending here. This is the type of section that MCY4 had a lot of trouble with on the beginning, but he hit the intro yesterday against Zudinator. It is possible for him to hit this, and there goes Malashevsky's combo on a slider break. MCY4 will follow suit, but that's a 100,000 score lead. And Dooms, we have a match on our hands. Exactly when he needed it. Finally taking his next pick there. Combo Gaming doing the job there this time. MCY. With the hack. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. 2-1. So far, so good here. Malashevsky still with the initiative, though, with the next pick in tow. I don't know. Maybe Precision is the move. Maybe that's what MCY needs to be looking into. No, I mean, so far in the tournament, Malashevsky has won all of his games, dropping two points. So I hate to bring oh. that up, guys, but you know. We go, we go no mod two for Malashevsky. So, I mean, we're going straight off the DT stamina pick into no mod two. So, I believe I see the intention here. You know, he is he is doing the stamina abuse. Terrible, stamina terrible, abuse, man. <laughs> it's not a common thing to say, but. You know, when you get to this level, it's just everything is a yeah. Malashevsky map. It really is. But MCY4 on these stream maps has been a menace too. So this, I think this is a kind of a risky pick, honestly, from Malashevsky here. To hand over maybe even some more momentum. It's not the weirdest stream map. Very simple shapes, but very spaced and pretty high BPM. 215 BPM. I think it's just a good show of confidence. Not the best score from MCY4 yesterday. We saw MCY4 play this against Zuninator, and he only got 270k on this. Uh, so this was not a particularly good score uh, for MCY4, and he really only won this pick by a hair's breadth. But had much better act than Zuninator, had 92-93% accuracy compared to in the 80s for Zuninator on this pick. Zuni not particularly a 215 BPM stamina player compared to either of these players really so i think mcy4 does still have a chance of winning this map it was a low score because of a lot of really bad misses for mcy4 just random miss aims on seemingly easy patterns here's the first ki though 
And this is kind of the first test. If you make it through this, you can get a big combo, but there goes MCY4 just immediately into the first key eye time, and Malashevsky looking that much better through this first difficult section of the map. Another set of chain misses for MCY4 on these hard streams. Yeah, couple there, really. MCY4 not dropping too much axe, so he's still holding on to a good chunk of that. But it's out of his hands once again here. Neither of these players dropping anything on the jumps. A couple of difficult jump sections in this map, but neither of them really should care about that. Both of these players, very good aim players. Oh, yeah. And this one's definitely going to come down to the streams, which Malashevsky is just handling too well at this point. MCY4 not falling behind all that much. Far better score than yesterday. I mean, already above 200k, so you know this is going to be way better than the 275k that he put up yesterday. There's a miss on the jumps, actually, for Malashevsky. That is the exact timing that MCY4 needed. There is an act lead for Malashevsky, but if MCY4 can hit a lot of this ending and Malashevsky drops again, this can go over. That's a tough task, though. This ending mm. is, without a doubt, the hardest part of the map in terms of the streams. But there goes more misses and more accuracy for Malashevsky. The act is close now, but there oh. goes the combo for MCY4. And with 100,000 score leads still in the bag, this one is definitely going to put us at 3-1. There was a wind of opportunity there, but yeah, this ending is just nuts. It would have been Herculean to combo this and take the win. Malashevsky with that combo at the start, getting the job done. Could crack 500k on this. Yeah, looks like he will. There we go. Great pick in the end. Definitely looking stronger all the way through that. And it's another fairly contested pick, I think. Going Malachevsky's way. Damn. Two-point lead is restored here for Malachevsky. Back in the driving seat. Next pick will go over to MCY4 to keep himself in this. That was another very good score for Malachevsky. 97.5. Barely a major note lock happened there. And well, in terms of picks for MCY4, actually, not even going to need to spend any time guessing as to what he's going to pick. It's going to be HR3 immediately. Seems both players have a game plan. Going to be Devious Panda, Nomad Sixery, but uh, it is uh, it is in Hard Rock. It is just insane. One six bursts, funky rhythm all over the place. Just really, really, really tough patterning. I mean, I mean, this is the class of map that very, very few players can actually play effectively. It's a Koro mapping. It's a yeah, exactly. A I, do, I don't know. I don't know what I what to expect here. Extreme finger control and high OD hard rock styling is something Marchevsky is really good at as well. This is definitely a test of wits on something this specialized at this level. It's gonna be tough. This is one again where, you know, maintaining a high combo on something like this is absurd to ask of a player in a tournament match. Um, so I have a feeling this one is gonna come down to accuracy and it is a very good start for Malashevsky in that department, but both of these players, oh, never mind. MCY4 is going to find the miss. MCY, uh, Malshevsky also going to miss right afterwards, but maintaining that accuracy lead at now 3%, growing it quite a bit during that doubled section. MCY4 dropping quite a bit of accuracy during that part of the map. And this is the result that you see already a 50k score lead just off the accuracy alone. Neither of these players having too much trouble with the combo, but there goes Malashevsky. It's not a big combo lead, though, for MCY4, and there goes the combo once again, and that's what I was talking about with maintaining a consistent combo being too tall of a task for pretty much anyone on this map, and it just coming down to the accuracy. It is now 5% almost for Malashevsky on this map, and the lead has grown in tow, 55k now, and climbing despite the earlier combo lead for MCY4 same boat as with that dt2 we saw that the finger control the accuracy side of things so much more important when 
It's so hard to hold any sort of combo. And with Manage FC matching the combo, that's going to strip down anything at this point. Coming up to the end here, uh, Manage FC still holding A, which I don't know about you, but A rank on this is pretty scary yeah. to me. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's frightening. That is that is frightening. Um, this guy just dropped 400k on Sapphire on Fire Hard Rock. I <laughs> Oh my god. Don't know exactly what to think about that. I dropped the A rank for her K on Sapphire on Fire Hard Rock. That's a little. All right. Yeah, that's a little nuts. Is that like. That's, I don't know if that's the first. Can a even rank, a Koro right? do that because it's Hard Rock? You know? <laughs> it's, I don't know. I don't think he even FC'd it no mod. And that says something. Yeah, that might be first A rank on that map, Hard Rock. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Who the hell plays this Hard Rock? I don't. I don't know who it does. Uh, looked into it real quick. The answer is uh, Zunionator plays at Hard Rock and is both the top Hard Rock only score and hidden Hard Rock score. And yeah, wow. it's not, not an A rank. Not an A rank. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense. That does make sense, though. I'll say I, I don't really know uh, about this as a pick for, for MCY4. It didn't really make all that all too much sense to me, given that it's you know, pretty left-hand heavy. It's pretty heavy on the tapping element. And MCY4 striking me more as an aim control rather than a finger control type of player. So probably more to find there, you know? Maybe hidden four. Maybe it's just a matter of Malashevsky being too good on that kind of thing, but... The DT1. We're going to oh, see Tsukinami boy. from Malashevsky. Going for straight, straight mechanics, straight skill cap, 1k in match. Straight up. Oh Imagine God. double time in six star maps in tournament. I remember seeing Milk T in, uh, in Hippo Cup a while back. Uh, combo quite a bit of this in match. We'll see if Malashevsky can, can compare. MCY4 can prepare as well. Yeah, actually, I mean, this is MCY4 putting up some pretty good performances on the DT1s earlier, but this might just be a step too far. I'm not entirely sure. I legitimately, I'm not, when it gets to this level, I don't really, I don't, I'm not really sure. It becomes less about what the skill set is and more about what the skill cap is. How far can you go? See at this point, MCY4 with his ridiculous mechanics should definitely put up a fight on this. But as you mentioned, it we're at end game territory here. Can he keep up when it comes to maps that were literally 1k PP not long back? That's that's sort of level we're talking here on one try. Uh, Nashevsky, certainly in the head to heads these two had, and some of the aim maps in their last matchup on the easier full right was pretty close. But a uh, different kettle of fish here. Things being delayed a bit by uh, Malashevsky apparently having some trouble with the stream. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully not for too long. All the four. Losing their warms on this speed because this is pretty speedy. It's 270. It's got some element of speed, especially at the start. Quite a few bursts at the start. It makes it more exciting if they're not warm. You know, there's going to be more shit missing. There's going to be a lot more. You know, there's going to be a lot more give in uh, for MCY. Yeah. Throw the dice. Add some RNG to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spice spice <laughs> things up a little bit. I don't know. Actually, I'd like it to start, you know, but... I guess we'll just be here for a while. Certainly wouldn't want to get the te tech issues being in the way here from my chest. So you're having a quick restart. Hope to try and sort those out. This, this is... This is a dicey pick, I think, on the side of MCY4, especially with it not being his pick, right? A steal here would be huge, and I wouldn't say it's out of the realm of possibility with it being raw mechanics for aims. There are still a few picks on the board that MCY4 could definitely fight on. 
but being 5-1 down was going to make it really scary for him, you feel, right? Especially once, if he does manage to get a couple points, what does he pick after that? But I guess that's a question for then. Here we go. Here we go. Double time one in AR 10.47 or so. Uh, AR 10.5. Uh, everybody knows this map, I don't know. Uh, there's some relatively easy patterns leading up to the key eyes. I say relatively because it's all still hard. It's all still basically eight stars anyway. It's not like any of this is very easy. Um, and yeah, already a little bit of discomfort for MCY4. We did see this played yesterday and MCY4 had some trouble with it against Zudinator who was definitely advantaged on the DT aim pick here. And Malachevsky, I think, Picking this with full knowledge of MCY4's performance on it yesterday. So, I, despite MCY4 being a very good aim player, I don't know how well that aim is going to extend into a map like this, where, you know, as you two were talking about, it's just so ridiculously hard that it stops mattering exactly what your skill set is. So, the first Ki time, though, both players holding combo for now. Making it through this first key eye time is a good sign for anyone playing this map and hoping for a high score. Neither of them breaking on that build-up pattern either, so looking really solid for both of them, but particularly for Malashevsky, almost 98% accuracy, about a 3% act lead over MCY4, and still on the FC halfway through the map. So we're always recovering as well, though. Looking better than he did yesterday. It's out of his hands, though, again. He's waiting on a miss from Malashevsky. We're halfway now. Still hasn't happened. Just constant aim. The map starts to slowly get harder as you go on. There's oh, the break from MCY4. So sad. That's brutal. In the middle of the map too. And it's traded by Malashevsky. But it's a reset. It's all in favor of the Polish player here. And you just know if MCY4 holds there and doesn't slide a break on thin air, uh, this score is going over, right? This is... Still a really good combo and a very solid score from MCY4 on this map. I mean, look at the parts that he's hitting afterwards, Doomsday. That was such an unfortunate miss for MCY4, but it just... The timing is so bad. The timing is so bad. The accuracy lead is too big for a measly 50 combo lead now to really do anything for MCY4. There is another break for Malashevsky, but it's traded, and that is going to seal it right up. 150k score lead by the end of the map, for sure, for Malashevsky here. With the act lead still intact at around 3%, MCY4 unable to grow the act from about 95% upwards. And of course, Malashevsky... Oh, there we go. Okay, does finally miss on the hardest part of the map. I was going to say, really, also hitting the hardest part, but no. Does find a drop, and he's going to drop... Around 600k on this one as well. Yeah, I think it was closer than what maybe the scoreline would uh, suggest on that one. But just that little bit more consistency, especially at the start of Malachevsky, getting the job done. And the accuracy as well is just so big in this game. The accuracy has made such a huge difference here for Malachevsky. And that is a 5-1. to one. Four point advantage here for Malachevsky. He's not far now, but MCY4's got the next pick in tow, and he picked that one so quickly. Straight away. This is a cool one. I'm uh, I'm happy to see this one get get played here. The uh, funky circle only map by Penek. It's uh, gonna throw every kind of uh, flow aim at you imaginable. Or I'll say it's not actually circle only. It's it, technically there are, are sliders in it, but it's like it's almost all circles. Gonna be low AR as well, AR8. Uh, pretty dense. Just tricky. It is it is a map that is trying to trip you the whole time. All the gimmicks, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I it is kind of an alti vibe. Uh, I can see it, I suppose. I don't know. It yet again just comes down to Malashevsky is kind of an animal, so... Well, 
as a as a fellow animal, not as a fellow gorilla yeah. in, in this case. <laughs> I know uh, what I'm talking about. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> You're ready for them to hop into this one, I guess. Um, yeah, these are overlapping stream patterns on AR8 with also funky rhythms at the same time. I mean, there's one sixth verse in this and one third. Like, this is not easy at all. There's random double pattern thrown in. There's a miss aim for MCY4. It looked like much better accuracy for MCY4 this time around, though. And there goes Maloshevsky's combo. So, again, the accuracy mattering quite a lot for both of these players. The combo is now in favor of MCY4 once again. It's not a big lead, but it is a combo lead. You're really happy to see that if you're rooting for a close match here between these two as MCY4 looking a, a little bit more solid on this map. This is a very tenuous grasp of the lead though for MCY4 as it is only about 10,000, 15,000 score and only a 2% act lead with very little combo. It all comes down to this harder section. The overlaps on these streams are just demonic in this map. I cannot believe this was pulled and hidden when it was originally what? made. Uh, there's oh. another set of misses for MCY4. If Maloshevsky doesn't trade it soon, this will go over. Get over. Maloshevsky, 450 combo through that section. That's not okay. The lead is going over now. The map's slightly winding down, I guess. All right, at this point, I think we have to talk about the sheer level of dominance that it takes. Oh, Ooh, wait, hold on. on. Never mind. We might not have to. He does find a chain miss. There's a lot of drop score in that, but is there enough time left? Is there enough combo in the map? I don't think there is. And that is going to seal it oh, up. 18k. No. It's so close. It's so close at the end. The accuracy almost doing enough for MCY4, despite the combo gaming going on for Malachevsky, but just not quite enough for MCY4 to come out on top on this pick. And now you're just staring down the barrel of match point for Maloshevsky, next pick for Maloshevsky. You have to start talking about what is the sheer level of dominance this player has over the tournament scene right now. To be the number one seed out of qualifiers by a bigger margin than Zudi had over seed number 16, the lowest qualifying seed. To be the number one match cost player on quarterfinals and finals afterwards and to still be number four on round of 16 and number two on semifinals despite playing you know very few maps every single round i mean only played eight maps for round of 16 quarterfinals and semifinals and only played nine maps in finals despite other people playing you know 13 19 25 maps in terms of match cost what is the ridiculous dominance this player has right now i mean it is incomparable in the tournament scene at the moment hidden four going to be the pick to potentially close things out for malashevsky i think it's i think it's not necessarily one that Ought to be so terribly Malashevsky favored. I would imagine MCY4 could put up a good performance on this, but I don't know. It feels like even when it's close, it's not. Even if even if Malashevsky drops the point, it isn't even that bad with uh, with how much of a lead in the match he has here. He could Never stand really. to he could stand to drop a few. And he dropped one right at the start of this map to hand over the initiative at the start of this to MCY4 when he needs to pull together one of the most special runs we've had to ever have seen in the tournament setting. But one thing MCY4 has shown in this tournament is he doesn't really get too phased, doesn't get too nervous, but he needs something special here, no doubt. He did alright on this yesterday though, on this very map, 400k, he's improving a lot of his scores. This is definitely a good match now for MCY4. I think had a, a bit of a rocky start to this match, and that bit of a rocky start created a lot of this map lead for Maloshevsky that you see at the top of the screen, six to one. Coming into the finger control, aim control section here, the snappy back and forth jumps, as well as, well, not really jumps, these are triples. <laughs> those, are just, those are just triples. Um, MCY4 and Maloshevsky both hitting them you need a good run on this map, though, if you are MCY4. Yes, it's an early miss from Maloshevsky, but the accuracy is pretty much even, so it is 
gonna come down to the max combo on this one. This one is far more doable than a lot of the other maps in this pool. I mean, 1500 plus combo on this is extremely hard, but very doable as we saw yesterday. MCY4 getting almost a thousand combo and Zuninator getting over that 1500 mark, over 700k on this pick. So I really want to see about, uh, excuse me, MCY4 pop off on this one right now. Already beating the max combo from yesterday. Let's see if he's able to hold on through this snap aim section. This is so, so tricky. Yes, it's fast aim here. There's the drop from MCY4 as FC's gone. Malachevsky holding his combo, 1k oh combo at the slow part. And that is going to be so good for Malachevsky now. He takes the lead back and he could smell it, Dio. He could smell that plane ride. He could smell his place at the round table being kept warm for him here. Yeah, there's there's blood in the water right now. This one is... It, you make it through that entire first half with only a break right at the start, you know, 200 combo in, and you just have to know... Oh, a couple of 50s there, actually, almost mishapping that burst. Maybe a misread. You just have to know after that that you have such a huge lead, right? I mean, you're not going to expect anyone to combo through the entire first half of the map. No misses for either of them on the one-third pattern there. That's what Zuni broke on yesterday. And uh, Malashevsky is on track to beat her score on this map, despite the early miss comboing through all of the difficult sections of this map after the intro. I mean, is this going to be a reverse choke on this map to close it out or what? Because at this point, there's not really a chance of a comeback for MCY4 Doomsday. This is match point set. GG Grand Finals is over. But it's just about the style points now for Malashevsky. Does he finish out the reverse choke on this map? I don't even think this has any hidden full combos, or I think there's one. Uh, no, there's actually two. Zudinator and Malashevsky. <laughs> Almost a repeat of his full combo on the map. It is going to be that reverse choke, it looks like, unless he drops a really unfortunate miss here at the end. Just style points to finish it off and secure Los Angeles. Makes all too much sense, doesn't it? It does make sense for Malachevsky to be going to California here. And that's where he's going. And can anyone begrudge him this? There is no doubt he has been the best player in the tournament scene. The best player in this tournament. And he is the winner of the Roundtable 2 Qualifiers Tournament. Emphatically. What an incredible player Malachevsky is, guys. This is insane. He's so good. How I mean, does he it even was lose in the, the actual tournament itself. I don't yeah. see it. <laughs> it was never quite in doubt. Well, it, de it depends on the uh, the members, right? The uh, people we'll see at the round table. I can think of an individual. I, I think we're gonna need to see Emrec back at the round table. We again. really do. Lie. We <laughs> really do. <laughs> We're going to need to see Emrek back at the round table for some competition. We Make cannot, it we cannot <laughs> have Emrek not be there. We're going to oh, have man. to, like, bloody put together some of the Omega tournament players and have them form some sort of Megazord to take down this guy the way he's yeah. playing. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. MCY4, we've got to give props to MCY4 first of all. What a run. MCY4 has had. I wonder how many people expected him to be here in the grand final. I'll say most people probably underestimated him coming in. I underestimated MCY4 coming in. I did not expect it to be... I Like, I didn't expect him to be this good. It's... I do feel like he stepped it up to a whole new level uh, as of recent. It's... I mean, the kind of performances we've been seeing... MCY4 is... And uh, undisputably, one of the strongest players in the tournament seed at this point, I think. But maybe going under the radar of a lot of people up until now. Yeah, I think if you asked me before the start of the tournament who out of the top eight I would expect to be against Malashevsky in Grand Finals, I would probably say, okay, Zudinator yeah. and Enri probably out of top yeah. eight. But MCY4 has beaten both of them now. Both of them are also in last chance bracket as well. So, you know, you have you have a really tough 
road ahead of you if you are at the bottom of that last chance bracket for Enri and Bartek. You have to go through one or the other, and then Xylus, and then Zudinator, and then MCY4, all in order to make it to Los Angeles here next weekend. Tournament is not quite over yet. As a reminder, we do have the last chance bracket. That'll be next weekend. Uh, we'll be having matches right in a row between all five of these players, starting with 32 and going up through 35 with the winner of everything else facing off against MCY4 for a second chance at going to LA. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I There's just only so much that you can do, right, against a player like Maloshevsky, and it is... It has remained to be seen whether we will have anyone else in the tournament community who can really challenge him this year. Because as of the end of last year, he has just looked untouchable. We're gonna need insane. we're gonna need the Australian. We're gonna need the outsider in in this case. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring in Rec out to put together. Well, that that matchup would be something else if it happened, of course. Uh, but. Yeah, the way Malchewski's Mar been playing, even on some of the like stuff that you may call him maybe slightly weaker on, you know, the stamina maps, he picked a lot of those into this and looked really good on them, holding solid air ranks and things on stuff that you say you'd be weaker on. And it's on a pool that... It's eight-star pool and he still did okay on them. It comes down How to the do skill cap the question. Like? It's the skill cap question. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not even about skill set. Malashevsky is simply too powerful. He's too good at the game to, you know, any distinctions between skill sets that it doesn't really matter. He's just good. He's playing good. I think that just about sums it up. I mean, when you're that good, who cares what the opponent's skill set is, right? Just yeah. Beat them on the hardest maps in the game. It's that simple. Um, just be better at extremely hard stuff and be able. You to beat them on your on their own the skill sets. Stuff. Yep. They still lose. They still lose. Just like MCY4 did, unfortunately, on, you know, the upfront pick of the Nomad Alt. It's pr pretty brutal. It's Yeah, that, that first pick really did set the tone for the rest of that match. Yeah. That was that yeah. was just uh, immediately into, uh, you know, double score for Maloshevsky, and it never really stopped after that. Yeah, it's just, that was the, the that first map was such a hammer blow, one of his strongest maps, and he got completely smoked on it through a ridiculous score. Uh, so yeah, I think well deserved victory there for Malachewski, absolutely. But MCY4, the way he's been playing, still I think has a very good chance of making the round table, considering he's at the very top of that last chance bracket. He's got one game to win against a lot of opponents he's already beaten. So I think he'd be. I think he's the favorite. Confident, right? Yeah, I mean. Expectations flipped on their head in, in terms of, you know, what we had coming into the regular bracket. I totally see him as the favorite at this point. I, I, I suppose it would be up to Zudinator in my mind to challenge that, but that's that's the main competitor in my mind. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, taking a look at the bracket, you know, MCY4 has already beaten several of the players that are in last chance bracket: Enri, Xylus, and Zudinator. So three out of the other four players, the only one that MCY4 hasn't actually faced off against is Bartek. And Bartek is against Enri in the very first round of last chance bracket. So the chances of them actually facing off as the only match, the last match of last chance bracket is relatively low, all things considered. So I am, I'm, I'm definitely with you there. I think MCY4 is the favorite for last chance bracket and Besides those two, along with the other 14 invitees later on this year, I think uh, any of the two who make it through this tournament will be really, really solid additions to the roundtable event later on this summer. Well, gentlemen, anything else to wrap us up here? Because we are just about done with the Grand Finals. Well, it's I been think, a pleasure. Yeah. It's uh, It's been a great time casting roundtable, and... Uh, you know, I'm sorry I can't be with you there in webcam in corporeal <laughs> form, but I have my avatar here. Of course. Well, I think yeah. that's going to just about do it for us. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And if you want more information about the roundtable, you can check out the website, the spreadsheet. You can join the Discord for the roundtable. And, of course, for the last chance bracket, next weekend we'll be announcing the schedules on the main spreadsheet. So take a look there. 
for the schedules for next weekend. We'll see you back here in one week's time to decide the second person going to Los Angeles out of the round. God dang it. The second person going to LA out of the round table qualifier tournament. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>